down to all the towns Head away, holiday South Aussie with cars, he's on sit down South Aussie with cars, In South Australia we will go Head away, holiday South Australia all the way South Aussie with cars, well, welcome to another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. You know what this TV show is all about? It's all about doing what these people are doing right now. Relaxing in Blanchetown, celebrating Candace's 30th birthday. Having fun so far? Yeah, sounds like it's having a ball. I'll show you where to go around South Australia, but most importantly, I know that times are tough, so I'll show you how to do it on the cheap. It doesn't cost big bucks to do a holiday just like these guys are doing. You wait till you see what's on today's show. We'll take a look at what I believe is the ultimate boys trip over in Air Peninsula. We give you the chance to win a free holiday to Port Augusta. We'll find out what Crows superstar Taylor Walker, aka Texie, loves about living in South Australia. But first folks, we are off to the northern suburbs. We're starting the show from right here in Salisbury and we're doing the Bank SA $20 challenge. The whole point of this, well, the next two or three minutes, is to show you guys you don't have to spend big bucks to entertain the kids. We're gonna entertain them and we're gonna feed them. It won't cost us more than 20 bucks and we'll do it right here in the northern suburbs. Well, we've lobbed into the heart of the northern suburbs and we've found ourselves a picnic location. We've also found the mayor of the Playford area and the northern suburbs. Thanks for joining us, Glenn. G'day, thank you, Cosy. Mate, tell us about this park. We're in one of the premier parks here in Playford, Stebbin Heath Park. It's a fantastic little gem here in Playford that you can spend the whole day here with your family. Yeah, what sort of stuff have you got on off? We've got the Barbies going in the background. I love seeing that. Oh, is it free to have a barbie? You got Absolutely. Yep. You can get down here. So much to do. You've got shelter. You've got the barbecues, as you can see behind me. You can yep. bring the kids down for a birthday. We've got playgrounds. We've got swings and slides. We've got a climbing tower for the kids. We've got wetlands. You can come and feed the ducks. We've got a BMX track, so you can right. load up the bikes in the back of the ute and come down here as well. We've got a plenty of places which are nice and green. Either sit and read a book, kick the footy, play a game of soccer, you can do anything you like down here at Stephen Heath Park. Mate, it's physically active and it's free. I couldn't love it anymore. Good job. Thank you. There's a seesaw over there with my name on it, mate. Let's go Let's check go. it out. Let's go. Sometimes parents or grandparents get a little bit lazy when it comes to entertaining the kids. I know we're all guilty of it, you know, kind of whacking on a movie as opposed to actually taking the time to pack a picnic and find yourself a park. Ask yourself, when's the last time you went and kicked the footy with the kids? I gotta say, I have been super impressed with this park. Hadn't been here before, till you bring it over here. But this has been one of those things that it's a real eye opener because you come here and you go, it costs you next to nothing to get out here, next to nothing when you're here, and for the sake of a few rolls and a few, do we have any chocolates? No, no chocolates. Bit of food, you're laughing, it's a great day out. Did you have fun, Tilly? Chucky? Whoever you are, these are my kids. This little Arvo trip was a total El Cheapo. Doing a family picnic didn't cost us hardly anything. The rolls, food and even some chocolate cost 14 bucks. Petrol to Andrew's farm was six, so no more than $20 to entertain and feed the kids for a few hours. At South Aussie with Cozzy, we're dead keen to find out where you guys are traveling around South Australia. So, I want you to send in your photos from your holidays around SA. Doesn't even matter if they're even old photos or better still, if you've got some videos, send it in. Just send it to www.southaussiewithcozzy.com.au and we're going to choose one lucky person and they're going to win 500 bucks cash, all thanks to Adelaide Arcade. Let's have a look at this week's finalists. Tony from McLaren Vale sent me in his photos of the thrills and spills of SA's biggest bike race, the Tour Down Under. Have a look at that. Ouch! Lucky you shaved your legs. At least they claim that's why they do it. Good photos, Tony, and thanks for sending them through. Actually, here's one of Tony. He's second from the left. Ooh, okay, uh, each to their own. Just for sending in your holiday pics, you go into the draw to win $500 cash, all thanks to the Adelaide Arcade. If you've got some holiday happy snaps, send them through to me at southaussiewithcozzy.com.au. Hi guys, I'm Taylor Walker from the Adelaide Crows and you're watching South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy. I'm Nick Borgus, this is Matt Pearce. We're fishing off the farm beach in South Australia and you're watching South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy. 
Adelaide Crows footballers don't come any tougher than Taylor Walker, a.k.a. Texi. He's a Broken Hill boy, but do you know what? South Australia's practically adopted both Broken Hill and Mildura. So let's take a look at what this mighty South Aussie loves about living in SA. Uh, I grew up in a little town called Broken Hill in uh, New South Wales. Uh, 17 years there, and um, then I moved down to Adelaide in uh, 2007. So. I currently live with uh, my mate Bernie Vincent, uh, we live at Lockleys. Best country pub in SA is probably the Yunta. The Yunta pub, in, uh, it's halfway between here and Broken Hill. We often stop there on, a, on the way back to Broken Hill and have a pint or two, so uh, it's a very good pub to... Uh, best beach in SA is down at Glenelg. Obviously, uh, Jetty Road is very, very uh, packed with a good atmosphere down there. The people's really nice and um, benching down at the beach, it's really nice beach down there. So. Yeah, I'd say Glenelg Beach. Yeah, favourite caravan park in SA is uh, West Beach Caravan Park. Uh, as I said, we from Broken Hill and we used to come down and stay there when we were on sporting carnivals. Um, really good atmosphere down there and um, great place to stay. See you later, have fun! We're saying goodbye to the wives and we're doing the ultimate boys trip on Air Peninsula. And hey, just for once, we're throwing the budget out the window. This trip's all about having fun. Yep, we're off to Port Lincoln. Hey, here's an interesting fact for you. Did you know that Port Lincoln was actually going to be the capital city of South Australia? That's what they first decided, but then it turns out there wasn't enough water, so they moved it to its current location of Adelaide. Nick from Rex. Mate, whereabouts do you guys fly? Uh, we fly all around South Australia, Cosy. Yep. We do Kangaroo Island, Port Lincoln, Wyala, Mount Gambier, Sejuna and Cooper PD. Pausing right there for a second, Port Lincoln. Now that's where we're going, from Adelaide to Lincoln. How long is it going to take? About 50 minutes. Is that all? That's all. Really? Gee, that's not bad. So you think you can be in Adelaide on a, say, a Friday Arvo, knock off work early, hop on a plane, and then by sort of dinner time, you're at Lincoln. Yep, you'll be watching the sunset in Lincoln. All right, well, let's not waste let's time. Go. Let's go do it. How cool is that, Port Lincoln? After a quick snooze on the plane, we landed in Port Lincoln and then we did the bolt straight to Coffin Bay. It's a big good morning from Coffin Bay. This is stop number one on the ultimate boys trip. Coffin Bay, famous for its oysters and its fishing. We're going to check out the fishing. Oof. Boat sinks, <laughs> end of show. <laughs> Ten minutes on the boat, some of the boys were getting along a little too well. Hmm, interesting lads. Anywho, Jacko gave it the big thumbs up for male affection and away we went. Right, I've got Glenn here now. Glenn's the uh, captain of the boat. Mate, tell us about the fishing at Coffin Bay. Uh, pretty good fishing all around. We've got uh, inshore grounds, uh, lots of whiting, we get the garfish and so on. We get a run of kingfish that move in through the bay at this time of year. Yep. Um, out wide, uh, a whole range of reef fish, uh, snapper, nanagai, um, and in the summer months, uh, tuna, kingfish, samson fish, uh, groper, those sorts of larger fish. Just one or two varieties? Just a few. We've only been fishing for about 15 minutes. Already we've caught six fish. And that's seven, King George Whiting, caught by Simon Neck from Alice Springs. To be completely honest with you folks, we actually caught that one a while back. We just chucked it into this bit of filming. It's a little TV trick that's now been exposed with Neck's idea. The really cool thing about Coffin Bay fishing charters is the lunch, okay? Yes, I was a former Biggest Loser contestant and I love my lunch. But the lunch here is included. After a bite to eat, it was time to sting someone with the oldest fishing trick in the book. Do you know what that is? Kids, listen up. Tapping the rod to make people think they're getting bites. So simple, but so funny. Bites? Yeah, loads of them. Are you getting bites? Yeah, stacks. It's just teasing the hell out of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest trick in the book. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm 
Hey mate, why should people come to Coffin Bay? It's a lovely little spot, it's a, a really nice uh, picturesque area, there's loads to do, you've got beaches for surf fishing, there's four wheel driving in the national parks, you've got safe boating for small tinnies and offshore stuff for the bigger guys, so a bit of everything really. Yep, more so on. Come on, more so. Oh, no, don't find that burger. Just work him down, this is Coffin Bay at its best. We're thinking it's a snapper and we think we're going to get to use the net. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the net ready, Lawsa. I think it's a Tommy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's not a snapper. Uh, gaff, 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 sneak, it's a shark. Shark, Gabby. That's right, trendsetters, we've hooked onto a shark. How big is it and what sort? Well, you're going to find out after the break. South Aussie with Cozzy. Hi, I'm Jeff from Los Angeles. I'm visiting South Australia to go swimming with the sharks. And you're watching South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy. We're doing the ultimate boys trip on Air Peninsula and we're fishing in Coffin Bay. And guess what, punters? We've just jagged a shark. Uh, gaff, 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 sneak, it's a shark. Shark, Gabby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're on. Oh, yeah. oh beautiful. Go, boy, go. Oh, nice. Do your thing. Oh, beautiful. Eating? Yeah, yeah, it's a gummy shark. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen anyone actually catch a shark, and according to our skipper Glenn, it's actually a school shark, and apparently, he reckons, they're one of the best eating fish in the ocean. Yum. He's a big boy. We caught a ton of fish today, as you saw, and these are perhaps the coolest fish, Nanagai, and we caught stacks of them. Great day fishing at Coffin Bay, and if you want details of how to get in touch with Coffin Bay Fishing Charters, here they are. Fishing with Coffin Bay Fishing Charters was one of the best days fishing I've ever done in my life. Plus, they are just legendary blokes. I couldn't recommend them anymore. Do yourself a favour and check out their website, coffinbayfishing.com. We have lobbed into Port Lincoln for the ultimate boys trip and behind me are the boys from the boys trip. Port Lincoln is just one of the prettiest towns in South Australia and our flight actually was only 35 minutes, bit of time on the tarmac, 35 minutes and you're here. Where are we staying? The Lincoln Hotel, that's Rue's place, he works with me on Triple M and the Lincoln Hotel is just over there. Uh, the Port Lincoln Hotel is a result of uh, the biggest tuna farmer in the Southern Hemisphere. His name's Sam Sarin, who came to Australia many years ago. He's been uh, a very successful man. He's probably well, he's worth a lot of money, let's put it that way. And what, one thing he's done is put all the money back into Port Lincoln. And it was a dream of his to uh, build a hotel there. And that's what we did. And it opened uh, a few years ago now. It's 111 accommodation rooms. Uh, it's got uh, a sports bar. It's got a uh, Sarin's bar. It's got a restaurant. It's got a first floor for conferences and weddings. It's a pretty big hotel. Well, we've got uh, accommodation to suit everyone. We've got uh, the penthouses right up the top that overlook the beautiful Boston Bay. I doubt whether there's better, better rooms in South Australia than what they are. We've got rooms that are bunk rooms for families, really anywhere from uh, $50 per person per night up to the rooms up the top that are around about $250 a night uh, for a couple. So it's still the top rooms aren't overly expensive, but they've got fantastic views of Boston Bay. You know, you can't do the ultimate bloke's trip on Air Peninsula without involving one of these, a four-wheel drive. We are about to go four-wheel driving amongst some of the world's best beaches. With this bloke, Phil. How are you? Let's do it, buddy. Let's go. I'll drive. Yeah. <laughs> no, you go. We offer a, a, a range of, um, of sightseeing tours through the area, uh, yep. both four-wheel drive and walking tours. Um, yeah, we do everything from uh, just half-day tours right through to eight-day packages. And what are we doing today? Today, we're going to do our, uh, what we call our June drive. Um, it's, it's a half day drive, a um, four hour trip. Um, we followed the, the south coast of, of Air Peninsula right across um, Sleaford Bay through some massive sand dunes, 80 metre high sand dunes. 
we aim our tours at almost everybody, uh, everything from young kids right through to, to the grandparents. What's Paul driving like in the EP? It's the best. Yeah. Uh, it's um, really sand driving. We've got a lot of uh, big sand dunes, a lot of big beaches that you're allowed to drive on. Yeah. Um, so driving here is quite different to anywhere else, um, yeah, like I say, because it's, um, it's all sand. Well, that wraps up the fall driving for the ultimate boys trip right here in Port Lincoln. Hey, coming up next, we're going to do something that in the whole of Australia you can only do right here on Air Peninsula, right here in Port Lincoln. And that's diving with the great white sharks. And it's coming up next. Fly on my nose, watch this. Oh, who's the apex predator now? <laughs> G'day, I'm Andrew, we're out at Coffin Bay, on a fishing charter. I've just caught this monster, and you're watching South Aussie with Cozzy. I caught this one. <laughs> South I'm here at the Port Lincoln Marina, it's 6.30am and we are about to do something that you can only do right here in Port Lincoln. Oh, there's one other spot in the world, South Africa, but the cost of getting there just doesn't weigh up. It's the shark dive and I've heard that it's absolutely awesome. Harry, here's a local lad from Lincoln who's also a deckhand on the boat now, mate. What do you got there, buddy? Um, this is a jaw from a great white. So we come to Natchin Island to see these great whites. They sort of come here in a, abundance because of the New Zealand fur seals here. Yep. So yeah, we just drop our cage in and put six divers in there. And it's such an amazing experience. Look, you can go to a beach and you never see a shark. You go fishing, you never see a shark. Like... Which is probably ideal, let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then you come out here and there's plenty. Yeah. Tell us about the great white shark, what's an interesting fact? Oh, you know, we see them from two metres to six metres. Yep. The females are larger, like a larger girth, like females have a bigger bum sort of thing. Yep. This one here, this is from a four metre great white. Uh, they've got these uh, five rows of razor sharp teeth you can see here, designed to rip apart bone and flesh. So yeah, they just grab hold of um, seals and just shake it. And with these saw-like teeth, it just mauls them apart. So yeah. It would be a real brain overload if Greg Norman actually came out here and did one of your shark dives. The Great White meets the Great White. Yeah, well he has, he's has been he? here. Oh. I was actually on deck with him. Him and his son came out here. We'll park just over here near the rocks. Yeah. And we had up to 10 sharks circling around the boat. Jeez, I love and it. Yeah. yeah, we had a really good time and we actually saw a seal getting chased by a great white. Oh, nice one. Good for you, bad for the seal. Yeah, yeah. Alright buddy, well thanks for that Harry. No Have a good worries, day buddy, bro. take care. A couple of really cool things about the Diving with the Sharks day tour is while you're waiting for your turn, you can actually go fishing. We could have caught thousands of trevally or whatever the bag limit is. I couldn't believe it. Have a look at all the fish down here. This is just around the cage where the sharks swim. I just kept thinking to myself, hey shark, forget the dead tuna, eat the fish. I don't know why they don't. Also, breakfast and lunch was provided, and as my 11-year-old would say, it was yummalicious. I was also amazed at how far people travelled from around the world to come here to Port Lincoln and do the shark dive. Get out of the car, I've got Renee here, he's from Germany. Uh, konnichiwa, mate. <laughs> how was the uh, dive? Yeah, it's okay. Now, Renee, tell me, what made you come to South Australia? Uh, I come just for the shark dive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What else are you doing in South Australia? Yeah, just travelling around. Uh, yeah. Looking for Australian women? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright mate, yeah. best of luck. Welcome yeah. to Australia. Yeah. Cheers. And we go from Australia to America. Hey! Yeah. Mate, I forgot your name, what was it? Yeah. And yours Jeff. again? Yeah, yeah, Cosmic, mate. Cosy, yeah. And uh, what are you doing in South Australia? I thought I'd come down here and see uh, what South Australia has to offer. I heard a lot about it from the States. And I was sent down to, uh, to check it out. What do you think of some of the scenery? It's been amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. So much uh, kind of diversity in, in what's here, more than I expected from the States. Mate, I'm trying to encourage people that live in Adelaide to get yeah. out and explore basically their own backyard. Uh -huh. We just spoke to a bloke from Germany and you're from America. You're doing exactly what I'm telling them to do. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's basically, I started in Adelaide and have been uh, just traveling around South Australia. I saw the Barossa, the 
was so beautiful, amazing vineyards. And I went out into the Flinders region, yep. the outback, and there's just amazing places to stay out there as well. So we're we'll making really travels around inside. Take care. Thank See you. Buddy. Shark cage diving with Calypso Star Charters is simply awesome. It's also kind of like the perfect gift for someone. You know when you're looking for a gift that they're never going to forget? Like people give skydiving. Well, shark cage diving is better than that. No diving experience is necessary. There's no age limit whatsoever. I mean, I guess maybe one or two year olds probably not your thing. It's $495 per person, but it is a full day, right? You leave at 6.30, wetsuit hire is included, breakfast, lunch, fishing, and you get a once in a lifetime experience that I promise you'll never forget. I couldn't recommend it enough. Check out their website, sharkcagediving.com.au. I'm standing here on the cliff tops at the Port Lincoln National Park. You know, each week on South Aussie with Cozzy, we give you the chance to win a holiday getaway, all thanks to the South Australian Tourism Commission. And all you need to do is jump on the website. Just go www.southaussiewithcozzy.com.au. Let's check out this week's holiday. Was that booming shot? You could be off for a weekend away at the Majestic Oasis Apartments in Port Augusta. Have a look at how lovely this place is. It features 75 apartments overlooking the foreshore. It's the perfect gateway to the Flinders Ranges and Outback SA. Did you know there's over 400 South Australian holiday locations in the Shorts Holiday Book? If you'd like to win a Shorts Holiday Package for free, all thanks to the South Australian Tourism Commission, head to southaussiewithcozzy.com.au and good luck. South Aussie with Cozzy. Well, that wraps up another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. We're here at Neptune Island on a bit of a boys' trip, doing some fishing, catching a heap of trevally, and diving with the sharks. A couple of things before I let you go that you need to remember the website, southaussiewithcozzy.com.au. You can win plenty of prizes. Plus Facebook, if you're on the old FB as we speak, then request me as a friend. Just look up Cozzy Costello. Till next time, we'll catch you later. Been at sea a while, boys. Oh. <laughs> I'm missing the girls. I'm out of here. In South Australia, we will go head away. Holiday, South Australia, all the way. South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy is proudly brought to you by the South Australian Tourism Commission. South Aussie with Cozzy. I like pushups. <laughs>